Yo, what's going on guys? This is Carrie's HD here. It's actually just clips today because Complex is a little bit busy or Austin if you know him that way. Austin is a little bit busy right now so he's actually not going to be here but I'm going to be telling Protect a story. In the background we have a great gameplay. I think it's by Complex and it's a uh, game battles uh, team ladder where we actually play some really good kids and he drops I think 8-1 and one by the end of the match. Either way it's a really good game so make sure you're paying attention to that but also pay attention to the story. So what my story is going to be about is about a girl I met on Tinder. Now if you don't know what Tinder is, Tinder is basically um, like a dating app for teenagers. So you know two people get on Tinder and you like put in some personal information like I think you have to link it to your Facebook maybe you have to like tell where you live and like put some pictures of you on there and then people either they swipe one direction if you're hot and the other direction if you're not so hot so there's I'm another there's a bunch of these apps now. there's like hot or not tinder plenty of fish there's job, loads CDP. of these apps but again, that's besides the point home. so I was on tinder one night because I was super bored and I was in this was back two years ago so I was in eighth grade I guess it's been what four years or three years or four years now so I was in eighth grade and I was on tinder because I was bored and I thought I was some sort of G and I was gonna pick up all these girls on tinder and you know I come across this girl and she seems pretty hot so I, I swipe the hot direction or whatever and then she swipes hot direction on me which means it triggers like a match so when two people swipe hot on each other then like you're a match and then you can start like chatting or whatever so we both swipe hot on each other and so we start chatting and we exchange phone numbers so that we can like get off the app or whatever and uh, so we start texting and um, so the conversation very very quickly starts to turn very very uh, frisky not PG. These are not PG conversations, and uh, so we were just we were texting like that, and you know this wasn't just a one night thing. This was something that happened multiple nights in a row. I mean, this went on for months. So we're texting like this for about Good six job, months, CDP. and we're again, basically and dating. Home. Like we're like basically long distance relationship sort of thing, except it was. It was not a pure one. It was not one that y your grandma would be proud of, put it that way. It was not so great. But again, this was when I was in 8th grade. So I was inexperienced. I was pretty terrible. And overall, it was a bad idea. But we'll get to that later. So we're talking like this pretty consistently. And of course, because Tinder matches based on location, we both live in Missouri, and she actually lives like a few hours away, so it's too far to like go and visit, especially because I, at the time, was in 8th grade, so I couldn't drive. I'm currently a junior, to put that in perspective now, a junior in high school, and so I was in 8th grade, so I couldn't really drive, so we couldn't really meet up or anything, but lo and behold, it's summertime, and the state fair rolls around, and both of our families want to go to the state fair. And so, somehow we both convince our parents to let us go to the state fair on the same day. Like, we don't tell our parents about, you know, what's going on and why that day is so important. But we convince them to go on the same exact day. So we both go to the state fair on the same exact day. I imagine, I was a nervous wreck, of course, because this was like one of the few girls I dated so far because I was only in 8th grade and I, I think I had only dated one other girl before and so this was like super nerve wracking for me but you know threw on a nice shirt put on some deodorant and I left the house and we go and we're at the state fair or whatever and we're trying to devise a plan on how we can get away from our family so that we can see each other meet each other and whatnot. and so we come up with a plan of we're going to tell our, our parents that we want to go ride the carnival rides with our siblings. And then we'll tell our siblings that we don't want to ride one of the rides. And then we'll meet up. And so what we did, we did that. 
And so I tell my brother, I'm like, hey, I don't really want to ride this ride. I'll wait for you. And he, he says, okay. And I assume she did the same with her siblings. And we meet up. And it was a little bit awkward because, you know, if we didn't want to say, hi, I'm, I'm Dalton. No, hi, I'm so-and-so. But, you know, we had to greet each other. So after we got past the awkward greeting, she was, you know, Fight about as hot win. as she was on Tinder. The filters may have tricked me a little bit, but she was still hot. But she wasn't as hot as she was on Tinder, but she was TV. still hot. So, here I am, 8th grader, I think I, I've got a huge head, because now I've got this girlfriend now, and we're standing face to face or whatever, and we're, we're talking, and of course these conversations that we had were always pretty bad, so obviously our conversation kind of leans that way really quickly, and we just start making out in front of so many people at the state fair for like 3 minutes straight, we're just making out. And I imagine it was so awkward for them. They were probably pointing and laughing and just cracking up and making jokes. And I mean, we were two middle schoolers making out for like three minutes straight in the middle of the state fair. This was just crazy thinking back on it. But anyway, um, th that experience ends. We both go home and we kind of like start texting a bit less because of course like after seeing each other in person, nothing's going to be better than in person because, you know, now we can only text. So we, we start talking a bit less and job, all of a sudden, um, a few months later, off. like this is a while later, this is like six to eight months later, she Snapchat, no, she didn't Snapchat me, she was pregnant, don't worry, but she Snapchats me that... Uh, or her, on her Snapchat story, she says she was in she was in the city that I live in, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Why didn't you tell me? We could have. Um, I said a few things. I made some suggestive comments, and um, she says, "Oh, well, I I would have told you, but I'm a lesbian now. I don't think I've ever had such an awkward moment in my entire life." I had just asked a lesbian to do things with me. And I'm again in 8th grade. So this is just completely awkward. I was not expecting that since we hadn't been talking for a while. And uh, I thought, at first I thought I had turned her lesbian and then she assured me it was actually a guy after her that she decided she was a lesbian. So... Or a guy after me, not a guy after her. Sorry about that. So I actually didn't turn her lesbian, so whew, thank God I don't do that sort of stuff. But um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, that video, that story. It's a pretty good story in my opinion, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know if you guys want more of these videos. If you want more story videos, what you guys want to see, let us know in the comments below. See you guys later. Peace.